awesome welcome to the second Social Innovation Camp, which I never thought I'd get to say. The, okay, the second Social Innovation Camp. We opened our call for ideas uh, about three months ago and we had, over the course of eight weeks, 115 people um, who sent us their ideas for uh, web tools to change the world and from that we've chosen seven. So it's going to be uh, quite an intense weekend. We're doing one more than we did last time. My name's Ivo, um, and the project is um, about running. It was all about uh, the idea that there's all these people running around London, and where just the, I didn't like it that this energy wasn't going anywhere useful. Um, if you know the idea that you're just exercising for your own um, good, it just seems like it's a massive waste of human potential. The idea is um, a website where um, people who are going on international trips, whether for business or for tourism or for pleasure to visit family um, can basically put in their details and instantly partners in the country they are going to can find um, useful activities volunteering that they can do in the two hours, one hour, three hours that they have free in between their travel. If you want to know for instance how many people in Bethnal Green need some help getting up in the morning, cooking food, getting dressed, going to bed or going to uh, out to leisure activities and we're talking about disabled people, people with substantial and critical needs, you, you can't find that out. The information's lost, it's in spreadsheets all over. So what we want to do is two things, we want to take the, um, we allow the people themselves to have a simple application and interface to put up their own requirements. We want to take that and map it against the community and say these are the number of people that are looking for this in a community. The initial idea uh, was from John Grant's blog post or a uh, blog post referenced on the SciCab blog and I thought he was talking about junk mail being a ridiculous problem that should have been solved ages ago which well, it had and it, and it should be and uh, well we thought okay well sh let's, let's, let's see if we can solve it. The, the basic idea is a marketplace for people who have uh, a surplus of fruit and veg to register their surplus then people who want fruit and veg can go on this website uh, and get their fruit and veg. We actually um, chose six in the end and we put the seventh to a public vote um, and we chose four that the public could choose from um, and we ended up with a project called Carbon Co-op. It's setting out to achieve is um, cutting um, carbon emissions from, he from homes energy use on a large scale and it's doing that through bringing people together uh, to make savings, bulk buying and carbon saving technologies. I think one of the main things is trying to ultimately the weekend's about a proof of concept so it's trying to do something that's achievable in a weekend rather than diving in and trying to build the swankiest sort everything. of system yeah. yeah I think like maybe pick the core p bit of your project something that you can prove that works in in a short period of time because two days really isn't that long yeah I'm excited about meeting all sorts of different people um, and I'd really like to meet some people with different sort of backgrounds to me really so sort of, um, people with some sort of business uh, skills which I'm uh, lacking in I think we all know that all these ideas are good and if you if you could roll them out they'd have value but how do you get them to the people how do you make that interesting and, and communicate that very quickly to a wide audience that that's a really difficult problem I'll be excited to meet people who've got ideas about that and what we're going to do is over the weekend take those things from being just ideas to something yeah a little bit real which is which is quite amazing and that's what happened last time that's why we're here again it worked okay now the secret thing is I don't know why <laughs> okay I don't think anybody else exactly knows why all right it's some kind of chemistry but well, I don't know why it worked last time, because I didn't do it, right? It was everybody else, right? It's not, it's now, now this is the official moment, this is the official line, right? It's not our SI camp, now it's your SI camp, okay? It's up to you guys. If it happens this time, make it happen. Okay, that's what, that's what it's about. Yes, we can! <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of buzz, a lot of energy here. It feels really, really good to see everybody come and people be really excited to be here, so. I think after the weekend it'll be a bit of a letdown because we'll be like, oh, it's over. But I think for the weekend and right now, where everyone's on such a high because we're really excited. Well, as, as I said, it's, it's all about uh, it's about the people, really. So none of us would be here today if it wasn't trying to help other people. None of us would be here if it wasn't to meet other people or to get people involved in what you want to do to help other people. So. And at the end of the weekend, we're going to meet a lot of people and have a lot of fun with a lot of people. So, 
It's going to be good. Well, I haven't actually met any of the, the team yet, so um, I'm excited to find out who I'm going to be working with. Uh, slightly nervous. I haven't really made any kind of a plan um, as I was instructed by the, by the organisers, so I'm just waiting to see what happens really. So the idea is essentially that uh, we want to create a website where we can load up the accessible data, so stuff around how you get to, into buildings, whether it's accessible, tube stations, that kind of stuff, uh, onto a site and then give people, the users of London and transport and shops and businesses, the opportunity to comment against that and say whether that's how they see the world and any problems they face really. In that we spent the morning yeah. kind of developing an idea, honing it, um, talking a lot around what we want to achieve long term and how we can help achieve that in the short term, do something over the weekend that will help achieve that. So that was a, it was a really good session, introducing each other as well, what are our skills, what we're all doing, what can we do. You basically say, okay, I'm going to go to, I'm going from Bethnal Green Tube, so I need to know what other people have said about Bethnal Green Tube, I need to know what, what issues they face, so you put in Bethnal Green Tube and it will return a bunch of you know, comments by video or text or, or photo or whatever else just to talk about the issues they've faced and see if any of those chime with you and then hopefully we'll get an opportunity to rate those stations as well in terms of difficulty and whatever else. That, that needs to be decided. Femi, I'm sorry, I didn't realise this. You're trying to actually build this whole thing. Hmm? Are you trying to build that whole thing? This whole The functionality. Thing. You're, you're actually trying to code it, build it, get it done? To buy tomorrow? Yeah. No. Okay, so well, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So the I, 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 the answer to that question is I don't know. Let's, uh, so let's decide that. Yeah, let's, can, 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 once you figure, uh, <laughs> once, once you figure this out, let's do that, please. You try to solve the complete problem fully. So that was part of what people were trying to do. They're saying like, no, but we have to plan for two years out. And in two years out, it has to be able to do these things. Well, actually, no, it doesn't. We have to plan for tomorrow. And we have to make something happen small tomorrow that will let us grow to that point. So how can we create impact? And one of the things we've hit upon, and I was working with the... Um, Access decision? No, no, the visitor. Okay. Uh, helpful, useful. Vis useful visitor group this morning. And what we hit on very simply was, we're not going to be able to solve the problem of third world access to the internet. So how can we focus on trying to get those people in? Let's focus on getting the people who are connected. Half the team are actually missing lunch at the moment. They are on the on the canal um, trying to recruit runners. Um, and we came up with the slogan, uh, join the good gym or we'll push you in. Um, and we're going to try and get people to sign up uh, for three months to uh, join the good gym or we will push them into the canal. 